far as Ember, but apparently well, I just shouldn't. But I do it anyway, so I don't know. There's there's also the fact that a lot of the like traditional that. mid heroes got nerfed, right? Where where, where pretty much where like pretty the much way like I'm looking the at is any mid hero that mid-hero. that was kind of picked up in the previous patch, but didn't get touched. For example, Templar Assassin is like really good in this patch simply because you didn't get nerfed. Yeah, that's how it works. So Ember Spirit. He didn't get nerfed right. in the last patch, right? right. Yeah, I don't think so. No, he didn't. Oh, well, let's see here. I don't, I don't understand Lance's draft at all. At all. <laughs> but they have, uh, they have pretty strong lanes, I guess. Like, I don't even know if VP's lineup, I don't even know if VP's lineup's good anymore. This is a fucking PL, like. I, I don't think it does anything anymore, because, like, like, like I, I see VP, they have, like, Spirit Breaker, Dark Star, Winter Raven, uh, Ember Spirit. Mm-hmm. They have these like heroes that can back up. Oh no! Goodbye, is FNG. What's happening? Is it happening again? Oh yeah, he's gonna Fucking be ice shards. There's no the like charge out of here. <laughs> Two times now. DP just get caught in that first blood scenario uh, way I too mean, often. At least, at least they don't get their ward D ward this time. Yeah, they get up both wards. Bad vision. Uh, Bulldog's not gonna be able Bulldog's to contest for the. Bottom rune, so they should be able to get the ember. Oh spin. no, he's dead too! Oh my god, are you serious? Lil is dead They're as well. Apart, dude. They're disbanding. Like <laughs> <laughs> shit. It's like in the spam moment. There's an ill in the PL too. Like that's like triple disband. <laughs> Wait, who? So who? Tusk got both the kills. Tusk has boots mm-hmm. plus another 450 gold. 50 gold. Again. Again. <laughs> Again. Nuts. Got two kills off too. Again, nuts is like the richest. Support you've seen by the horn blowing. All right, Ember Spirit first flush rack round one. Two mile for Shiki. Got him. Yeah, this is a this is a very bad matchup. Oh wow, he didn't get the batting room. What happened? Wait, what? Oh no, he got the kills. Oh wow, he got level two so early. Oh no, <laughs> that's, that's so hurts. Like, I, like, cause he's still stunned, right? Yeah. And he activated shield on his own. And, you know, that's gonna work out. Mm-hmm. He's not gonna be able to hit the stun probably. And then he just lightning them, and G's like, "What? <laughs> what just happened? I don't get it." So now G's already down a healing salve, and he's only got yeah, two he's, shared tangles left. Coping, dude. Oh man! And every single CS matters at this point in time because you got to get that bottle. But uh, G probably is going to have to splurge for some regen. He, I don't think he could go for the bottle now. Not yeah, against the slash rack with such a <laughs> huge start. Honestly, though, like uh, G's probably going to do fine mid, and then they have a dark star against Brimoner. That's quite nice. You have been. For the dark side. Mm-hmm. And, and then this, this, um, this Necro might struggle in this lane. And if he does, then th- VP is looking fine. I just, like, VP had a. I liked their draft better going to the game, but then Ember's getting ganked mid. Yeah, he's fine. Turns around, actually gets the chains uh, with the Winter Wyvern here, slows down nuts slows a bit down, more, nothing. but. They just gotta make sure that uh, sure the this first four levels four go levels. okay for the Ember okay, Spirit, and then once you get that once level get three that. where you can soak up 350 damage, 350 things damage. turn around a bit more, because... Oh no. They missed the Centaur kill, top lane. They miss, little and missed it. Hmm. So what, they're just gonna rotate just around gonna with FNG then. when he gets then his level gets... two, I guess, and then keep this as a dual lane, putting pressure on the Necropos? Yeah, like, Peels are a pretty good offlaner, right? he's uh, he can't escape the Tusk mm-hmm. tank, so, he'll be fine, they have a Spirit Breaker to back him up, and he does TPO with Spirit Breaker, after Snowball's used, they don't have any stuns. Yeah. Lil with his Invis Lil rune does show, does show off Nuts, nuts positioning, positioning, and they're actually gonna go for G still, still, and they will be able to catch him, there's not much, well, the Cold Embrace will actually stall up things a little bit, a little bit. charge on through, they can actually sure, turn this one around to... beautifully as the heal is enough, the... and they'll so, get the counter kill get... onto Nuts, very nice. Oh, what? By Lil. FNG? Come on, dude. No, don't do that. Like, do you see what FNG just did? He got a kill, and then he went back and lost it. Like, no, dude, you're a Spirit Breaker, you go for it. Go for the casino hit. <laughs> <laughs> he he could he could have got the hit off on Lush Drag, and then if he bashed him twice, he would have killed him. Mm-hmm. I mean, it probably what happened, but like, you definitely go for that. Like, <laughs> no way, no way, you go back to the night. Casino hit. I like it. Did you go to the casinos at all when New Orleans? Uh, no. Like, I was gonna go. Someone really wanted to go, but uh, I was just too tired yeah. and like. I had a really early fight. Mm-hmm. No. EG went though. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, I saw EG there. <laughs> BBD was having a good time. 
And so we still have uh, Ember, Spirit Ember Spirit is slightly ahead of slightly S4 ahead now of S4 in experience, now in which he's about to get that critical level yeah, 5, where level the Flame Guard will be able to soak we'll up uh, pretty much the full combo of the Lesh Rack. And Illidan, well, he's got the doppelganger, well, got so we can always get out from these high shards. Sure. Not a problem. So things are going quite all right for um, for VP. Broodmother's reached a point, though, that now you just start creep scooping. Darkseer's obviously just going to tank up the wave at the same time, and we'll be at a weird, awkward stalemate. This Darkseer has, like, triple the CS of Broodmother. But I'm sure some of our spiders, so it's probably like the point double. Hey, he's like gonna be caught but here. He should be. He should be fine, right? It's search out. Oh god, he lives with just two HP. He's now gonna be able to get the healing salve off. And Emerald Bulldog. Well, and Emerald he's Bulldog. got a soul he's ring, but soul ring, he's but not gonna be able to catch DK Phobos in time. The full healing oh, wow. salve is there, and he just lives at the slightest Holy margin. Shit. DK Phobos is cocky as fuck. He actually, <laughs> he actually didn't live with two HP. He lived with like hundred, but then he activated soul ring. <laughs> and then he has two HP. <laughs> what did he activate soul ring? It's on cooldown. Look at this. Oh shit, gonna get, he's gonna kill him. Oh man, if he'd stayed oh, on top of Admiral yeah. Bulldog there. Because he couldn't walk oh. through the trees once you've taken damage. Yeah, he should. He should. Like, he, I don't think he knows that. Play Broodmother? No, he does play Broodmother. Yeah, he yeah he's one player, of the best like, Broodmother players out there. Like, why did he do that? That was weird. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> He was still in there, like he assumed he ran away. Illidan, gonna be caught here, the cold embrace isn't gonna be enough, there's enough magic damage in top lane. And even better, Necrophos gets the kill, so that status works into their favor. Oh, look at this gank, at this FNG, gank. he's got the, uh, he's got the dust. As soon as Broodmother shows to throw out the Q, they get the kill. But, the problem's going to be if he never shows. Nice identifying oh, the right, uh, Ion Shell Creep, really quickly. That was really fast, actually. Yeah, it doesn't give away too much. Is that a Like, what the fuck? That was actually insane. <laughs> uh, the Broodmother's gonna show up eventually. FNG. Oh, did he get spotted? I think he got spotted. Oh, he got pinged out there? Yeah. So, nice, uh, nice awareness from Admiral Bulldog. Alright, is G gonna get a haste rune? Or is Astro gonna get the Astro rune? Let's see. G and the six minute rune is, is a bounty a and regen and for S4. For S4. He may be caught in the process of picking up that regen. Picking is he's going to continue to run upwards? Run Slow down by the ramp. Oh, yeah. A little so far behind. In fact, I'm surprised Illidan is even chasing at all. It's DK Phobos just trying to interrupt the interrupt farm the of the Broodmother as much as possible. It's gonna be like one of the most formed Darkstars of all time. Yeah, he's but like he's two levels over Admiral. Oh, oh he, he got, got him! Got him. Yep, there's no escape. They're gonna be able to have the dust, and Admiral Bulldog is dead. Darkseer gets oh, the, the kill, kill and this yeah. is going to be an incredibly fast mid, mech. Mid. Yeah, oh god, he's gonna... Wait, what? He didn't jump to his remnants, he didn't have the mana. Oh man, S4 oh, barely wow. dies still, but it's far enough that Illidan does get caught by a snowball. And now with all these TPs in, G's gonna be still going down. The charge comes through, Lil's gonna get popped underneath the popped tower, underneath the and G just slowly but surely run down by the right clicks down. of Loda. Oh, he doesn't actually oh, have the aura, so G not fine. <laughs> Ice shards and the block out from the spiderlings. That was not that was worth it not at worth all. It. No, it really wasn't. That was uh, that wasn't too bad though, honestly. But it's a lot of rotations. Yeah. They're, they're rumored to you mid. Like, what? Why? <laughs> what was that about? I, I mean, it doesn't matter, it just runs in the jungle. I have no at, uh, idea. The gold graph is it's not too bad, it's only like a few hundred gold. This current <laughs> yeah. Okay, I guess you're right. <laughs> nah. But, um. This, like, the thing of this Darkstar hero is, like, even though he gets so fat, he's so useless as a. Like, he's a good hero, but he's a hero that makes other cores work. Mm hmm. Because yeah, he pushes out lanes like, and he allows his teammates to just do things together. He pushes out lanes up from far away. Yeah. But then, as a as a hero himself, like when there's a fat Darkseer, you don't really fear for it, unless other people are fat. Right. And you don't have like, um, you, don't you don't have another core to actually stop the Broodmother, so you kind of have to keep the Darkseer there in order to keep the Broodmother keep... from pushing. If they had a really fat, like fat, like a blink dagger starter or something like that, then mm -hmm. it's way more scary than this Darkseer who has a mech. I mean, he's still super fat, so like, he'll still be a strong hero. And it just... The lines are... Oh, I don't understand his draft in either side, dude. <laughs> Hopefully PL works out, dude, so I can play him again. I think one of the most played heroes. 
Go, go mid. Charge in, S4 gets chained up. Gets they chained don't have up. the ultimate from SP, and, and they're actually going to complete that remnant, but once again, S4 is just barely going to live. He managed to nuke down the Ember Spirit, and now it looks like FNG is going to die as well. Loda gets there in time for the uh, one nuke to come out. Now he's going to throw out the now ultimate, because why not, Lil? Why not, Lil? He's going to be down for 49 seconds. Nine Two seconds. different kills for Loda. Double for him, and you're talking about a fast mech on the Darkseer. You're going to have an equally fast mech on this Necrophos at this rate. Oh, three kills. He's gonna have it. He actually has it already, doesn't he? Uh, and he's yeah. got the recipe. Does he have the headdress? No, that's weird. No, no headdress. He just needs a uh, 500 gold. He has it. Oh. Well, DK Phobos. Gonna farm up this last this camp last and then camp. they'll have uh, a mech on him. Does this mean when you pick up the early mech, you the early but you mech, also got to bring them all together? Do you just rotate your heroes, your heroes into the lane that the Dark Seer's at and try and use that mech that to mech push? Because it feels like no, a shame they, they, just they to keep to, a mech bottom. They have, they have to get kills one mech somehow. Okay. It's not just about push like straight up winning into a tower and pushing. That's not gonna happen. Okay. So you're you're so gonna have to move the Dark Seer out of the Broodmother lane, right? Which then means the Broodmother gets some space. Oh, you can do that. Uh, you see what? Wait, mid. Mid yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, like, this broom under just attacked the um, fur block creep uh -huh. of spiderlings. I think he moved it away, and the fur block still clapped and it hit zero spiders. <laughs> Nobody could do it. Pretty sick. What's happening here in this top here room? The smoke up from Ake, up Ake and, and Nuts. And nuts. Hopefully, he'll be able to catch somebody here. Nuts is going to position himself position for himself the cliff for the snowball. But there's so many heroes from VP here, that's not going to be a good idea. Meanwhile, FNG is actually FNG's pushing actually out the bottom tier 1 tower. tower. He's going to be successful at taking it. This is from all the damage earlier the by the Darkseer. They really need to get FNG to, get to his FNG. level 6, though. They need that additional, need that additional burst of damage burst and disable damage against S4. Against Looks like they're going to go for S4. Go S4 for actually again. sees that one ahead, but he does manage to get the stun. It was beautiful placement. He read it perfectly, but didn't actually manage to get he it. Illin has got to be careful, though. Loda does have his does ultimate. Have He's going to be dropping this guy with Mage Ultimate off the Lilda. Take out one. Now Illin is going to be taken out from the side. It's okay. Managed to finish him off. They get the chains on the Loda. They'll commit for this kill, but or not. God's actually going to back out. Now they get the heal on the Loda. And DK Bobo's going to be going down. Junk God comes back in with the eye on but it's still not enough, 15 HP, the charge completes, they get that kill get now, that but, kill FNG, now but FNG, he's already into he's the already tier, into two, tower. tier two tower, there's no, no escape, escape from, from here, and Admiral right. Bulldog, the uh, mid brood mother who's showing up for showing these up. overextensions from VP, is actually helping out to win these fights for them. I don't understand what's happening, it's working. Just roll with uh, the ganking, counter-initiating brood mother, I guess. Nuts. Oh, Nuts. they get the oh, silence on to G, and he still has that flame guard up, but he quickly gets bursted down by S4, and he goes down uh, once again. Uh, all right. I'm I'm a little bit confused with what's happening too. What's happening too? Is there any reason that VP need to play this aggressively? I don't know. Like VP was like the least Russian Russian team. <laughs> yeah, that's no, like they're pretty Russian right now. That's a pretty good way to put it. They were, they played very like push heavy and like uh yeah. Well, they're still gonna try and still take up this tier one tower even one after tower, death even after death. 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 Looks like Illidan should be Illidan able to get the glyph goes get... out. Uh... Honestly though, like uh, VP always play around their mid player, and they're not able to do it right now. Like, he's been losing mid, like or yeah. not winning mid. So that's uh. I guess if you don't play their playstyle, they just don't know how to play anymore. They got the yeah, yeah, I'm also following uh, FNG. Oh, sure, he's, going. he's going for it. Yeah. Oh, no, he's there. not going to be able to get it. He gets slowed down now. He's just going to get popped. If he got lucky with that last bash, he would have killed the Broodmother. But, uh, or if he had just 37 more experience, he would have had his level 6. What's happening? Loda. You need to game with Gank up Loda. He's just getting that guy's way too much for him. Tough to kill. That guy's really tough to yeah. kill. Now that he's got level 4, Death Pulse, 1000 HP, plus a mech. Plus a mech. Drums now complete for our Phantom Lancer, but he's, he's pretty far behind. Oh, Jesus. 
This time he doesn't have the item <laughs> shell. That's pretty shell. important. He gets off the dust. He does have the help of the Winter oh, Wyvern with a splinter blast. They do a lot of damage. That actually gets his level six off of all the spiderlings that died, and they get the kill. Oh, spider to spider to come on. Illidan. He's going to get taken oh, out by the Reaper Scythe. Are they going to get this top tower? Here? I think they are. I don't think they're going to defend that top tower. That's a tower. Yeah. Illidan once again dies and then gives away a tower after his death. Those are the worst type of... Like, uh, like, some deaths are like not as bad, or like they could be fine, or even good. So it's very rare yeah. for it to be good anymore. But, uh, this is like the worst type, when you lose a uh, tower. There's just nothing gained for VP. During this four-man pop. They, they, they already got what they wanted. Mm -hmm. They got the broodmother kill. Yeah. So, like, if, if no one's protecting their brood, then that means they're all top, right? Yeah. They already are, so... I mean, he's, he has four deaths on the Oh field field, no, so. this is a bad time yeah. for S4 to commit, or sorry, again. FNG to commit. That's a haste, right? Yeah, that's that's a haste, unless they somehow chain stun him down. Oh, no. They do have the chains, and if they can look over the match, but now the snowball's safe, they jump away with the oh, round. they're fine, though. That follows him all the way into the middle lane. It's FNG who now has to get out, but it looks like he's got a charge, so should so. be fine. Uh, somehow no one died. Ice shards? No, DK Phobos. Sidesteps that one. They have no Reaper side, but they have a Astron. Do here. They have Reaper Girl too. Yeah, they get the charge. They're going on S4 here. He uh, actually they managed to get off the ultimate there. S4 still has a nice snowball uh, save, nice but the Astron. Oh, no. good Winters. Are no. still gonna lock S4 in. They take out the toss. Out S4. The toss. S4. 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 He's gonna die to this land. It looks a... like it. The last right hit. Oh my oh God. My 18, God. HP. 18 HP. He actually managed to live through all that FNG. FNG. Now, now bumps into Admiral Bulldog, Bulldog, but they don't have the vision. They're going on the Loda. Reaper Scythe up in five seconds. They gotta be careful because Illidan's quite low. Reaper Scythe one more second, but Loda chooses to back himself away. Doesn't have the mana for. Anymore. Anymore. Instead, goes for the death pulls. Now the charge on through. They're going to be able to get Admiral Bulldog with a splinter blast. FNG takes up the damage. Now has the cold embraces. God surges forward. Will be able to catch Ake. Okay. Turn around. S4 looking to be able to throw out a stun, but doesn't see the opportunity. And lights just get run over by that spirit breaker. A really good fight. Fucking FNG, dude. He ain't backing down. Like he's. He knows what he's doing, like, he may die a few times, but he don't care. VP is probably one of the most successful heroes with the Spirit Breaker. FNG yeah, just yeah. man modes it so it. much. That was a surprisingly bad fight by G, though. Like, S4 lived because he refused to slate. He was playing very scared. And then, he had a TPL with a Remnant, mm -hmm. but he didn't TP for a long time because he was so scared of dying, even though there was no way in hell he, like, they, he was the one that was gonna die. They, he wasn't gonna kill them, but he, he he thought he was gonna die, so he ran away. So they ended up not killing like two more heroes, and he, he ended up still TPing back to get full mana back. So at the end, he came he came back in with full mana HP and stuff, but it's took him way too long to, to do that. Yeah. Illidan, I mean, you were talking about how the Phantom talking Monster is Phantom. not a good hero in, good hero. in this patch, and it, patch it's going to look even worse if he just doesn't get any farm. Like, he's been a part of these he's fights so much, but he's much, but never he's... been getting the last hits on these kills. Kill? Yeah. Uh, he's still sitting at, what, sitting 4K, at what, network? 4K network? Uh, he's, he's still the lowest core in the game. Yeah. Well, Brute Mother is pretty low, too. This, like, the, the, the bigger problem is... It's a brute mother because the brute mother as a hero, it just he's not that good a hero when he's not doing well. Yeah, especially when you go to for the orchids build. Well, if he went for lads and stuff, he would be more relevant in these fights. Mm -hmm. uh, he went for orchids. It, it might end up paying off later on, way later on. But oh tough. boy, Did he caught there. Did he see him? The uh, smoke gets uh, popped. Smoke. They know that Admiral Bulldog somewhere in these webs on the right hand side, but VP are still going to keep going with the yeah, rest of their heroes. Up. They're going to go into the middle lane and catch AK, and that'll be a free to kill. Alliance don't really respond. I mean, it was a smoke ink for a support, not a big deal. Yes. 19.5% win rate? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We're still I'm so glad people lost with PL before I played them, because I, I wanted to play them. <laughs> Thank god I didn't play them. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Lotus charged up here, and he's actually got two other heroes nearby. They can commit to this one with the lance. Or maybe he's no, uh, he's too Pio far away. Can, Ember can go, can go back too. He has a spurt. I mean, bottom room. This Ember is not getting good runes. He's not getting DD or haste. He's getting these fucking illusion runes. Speaking of that, <laughs> Illidan will get the uh, next illusion rune. Oh, what is you? Wait, is he gonna steal? Oh, oh. No. 
They're gonna go for the catch oh, on the dark seeker okay. with the old scepter. They will uh, easily be able to chain stun him down. That might be a tower. And Lil's also gonna be caught, and unless he wants to brave some sort of winter's oh, curse, but I doubt he wants to. Emerald Bulldog's just running him down through the trees. Doesn't matter if you're flying. If you haven't gotten any damage on Emerald Bulldog, now Lil's gonna be slowed down, but he does have the doppelganger, so should still be fine. He gets the silence onto him. Emerald Bulldog still trying to run him down. FNG's ready with the response, though, at a charge at any point. You get a lot of damage out on Illidan. Nuts. Throws out the ice shard. That catches yeah, Illidan as well. They've bought well, him incredibly low. They just need one more nuke, but not a chance for uh, Alliance to be able to commit. Instead, they're just going to take this tier one tower off of all the kills. Hmm. Emerald Bulldog even committing his ultimate there just for the extra damage. <laughs> I don't quite understand how these deaths are happening. How the ducks are died are. He, he, he has Iron Shell. And like, there are five heroes missing off the map, and he gets, he dies. I guess he just... I, I guess he thinks, uh, he wasn't expecting a Yule's, because against the other heroes, he doesn't, he can't really die. Yeah, that was, Unless he gets silence. that was the first reveal of the Yule Scepter, to my knowledge. Uh. So... He probably just didn't expect that kind of expect. catching mechanism. Alright, Ember Spirit, first rebounder, round one, bottom lane soon, I think. Meanwhile, we may have we a may four have versus a four. four in the top lane. I, I think Ember needs to deal bottom soon. I think he's gonna yeah. leave a spirit yeah. soon. The, the, oh, oh, never mind. Oh. They found S4 they're and they do have uh, counter vision. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Vacuum. Vacuum back. Ultimate goes down. S4 will be caught. Now they pop the dust. They'll have the chains. They lock yeah, him they down pretty easily. Yeah. They have no brew mother. Why is G running? Oh, they managed to lock in. Ice shards on two. That's a beautiful setup with the Skyrim Mage ultimate. FNG tries to run on through that one. Chains and a double ultimate. The Reaper Scythe will be able to take out one, but the Winter's Curse controlling Lodi. He has all that extra regen, but he's not going to be enough gonna through gonna the burst damage up. of G, as it looks like he as should be able to just right click down Loda. Normal, I guess, but like he he needs to understand like the how weird this game is. This game is very weird. Okay, let's see. Mid dies first. So. Yeah, hey, silence. And oh, call the brace at the right time, but the nuke is still oh, enough. Nuts still... is going to be trading away his life. It looks like has no snowball to stop this one, so still worth Good it for a while. coming behind them though. Oh yeah, the Broodmother gonna be able to but slow down G pretty significantly with the Orchid. And now the Yule Scepter. He has no Sprout, he has no Sprout. He has oh, he has nice spread. slight save, but they still managed oh, to get no. the Silence on him. He's slowed down enough that he will go down. FNG, he may be caught on the way back out here as uh, S4 is trying to catch up to him. Admiral Bulldog, uh, FNG does have a charge does in three seconds, charge. but he gets Orchided up, and it up. there it is. Uh, is that a rush on? That might be rush. Yeah, that's four heroes that's, dead. Uh, that's pretty big. I mean, I guess the relevancy of what I was saying earlier probably won't matter anymore. But um, in that fight, when I was like, why is G running? Like, because they killed the Leshrac. And once you kill Leshrac, they don't have any AoE on the other heroes. Like, relevant AoE. So if G kept running in with the rest of his teammates, yeah. um, they wouldn't have died to the Scarab ulti. Because uh, he would take it. Level 11 Scarab ulti. And they would have threw more spells out, because they would have survived. Like, threw one, one more charge. Or something like that, and then they would have won the fight. Oh, what if anyway, DK see, Bobos gets there. a really good vacuum here? He does have the combo. Oh, no. Oh, he no. He missed the vacuum. Oh, that's not what you can see. S4, he's going to go for the old scepter combination on to DK Bobos. They're, they're trying, trying to pop him. him. Skyrim Skyrim Ultimate, too. they will be successful. Now, Illidan's going to be caught. Winter's Curse catches all four, though, with a splint to blast. They manage to blow up Loda. Great play from Lil, but it is not going to be enough to save back. this team fight. Or maybe he will. The charge on through. That actually hit three. FNG will keep on going. Hit on to S4. Great slide of fist. G's committing to this fight. Will be Able to take out nuts. Emerald Bulldog basing himself off the life steal, but it's not going to be good enough. Now the Yule Scepter on S4, but he goes down as well. So you know what a there? recovery! Is Aki is going to die as well on to top of that? Five men away, Roshan. It started out with a missed vacuum, but it didn't matter. It's FNG, especially with his charge through everything, and then everyone and being then grouped everyone up being like that allowed like G. That he didn't even have the battle three, but battle. his AOE damage was significant. Yeah. Very, very good play by. Uh by Phobos, or because he, um, like, he, he jumped into no vision, so it's very hard to hit vacuum, like, if they're not in the position that you think they're gonna be. Mm -hmm. 
But um, like it doesn't matter if he misses spells, and like, you know, I, I think a lot of people would be like, oh, flaming him because he misses spells and blah blah blah. He didn't do anything that fight, you know, whatever. He's useless, got carried, blah blah. But like that fight, he jumped in. Yep. And he gave a uh, vision for his teammates to use spells, mm -hmm. and he was too tanky, so they had to use all their spells on him. And once again, like Alliance, they don't have any AOE spells except Lush Shark. So if they like. It, once they use all their spells, they're like free to free to do whatever the fuck they want. Honestly, is is Aghanim's first like after the Mac, obviously? But the the Aghanim's build the the right build right for build. Necrophos. So we've seen a lot <laughs> no, of Necrophos so. tank up first. I think BKB would have been good to scam. Okay. Oh, well, that's a BKB on fucking PL. Holy shit! He went drums BKB brown boots. <laughs> that's how you know you're poor, but you have to fight a lot. <laughs> I like the item choice. You think it's just uh, one of those items that's necessary for necessary. this kind of game? Uh, or you actually know, think this is the it, new build? Uh, no, I just like it because okay. I like it because no one does it, <laughs> so I like it. <laughs> You're such a hipster, uh, Jackie. Like, I don't know, it takes balls to do something like that. <laughs> Alright, well, the tier 2 will fall. And it doesn't look like Alliance will get anything for it. Yeah. The lines, this brew mother. I used to see all right this game. But he hasn't done much. Hasn't been a brew mother. He's he's actually like a walking orchids. This is like that was his uh, game. Like if any hero had an orchid, it would be this brew mother. <laughs> like a uh, bad pick. See. G missing the slide of fist there. Very far forward, but he's got the safety of the aegis, safety I guess, to push that far. FNG cancelling his uh, charge on through. Really surprised that VP are trying to push this out as aggressively as they are, but now the charge commits. FNG, he's oh, got the wow. ultimate. The old scepter goes on him, but G, he's going to try and catch it this point. He will be successful. Here comes the mech and the death pulls, trying to keep S4 alive. And G's overcommitted here. He has to bounce back to his remnant, but it's going to be FNG who suffers from this positioning. On the left hand side, they do get the trust. Here comes the Reaper Sight, takes out that Spirit Breaker. Down for 70 seconds. Loda, well, he's going to be the target of G here with this agent. Looks like he's committed. Waiting for it, but VP, they've heavily overcommitted, it seems. Are they gonna get the silence off? He might get the silence off. Yeah, he gets off the silence. G still gets a lot of distance, though. They managed to get the vacuum to try and disrupt some of this combination. But DK Phobos plays with his life for that one. As for that one. Oh, he almost oh, goes oh, down. Oh. The target from Lil the right. Let's get him, Winter Wyvern. Winter he managed Wyvern. to take him down. What, what a support. A He's going to be giving away his life for that one, it seems, as uh, he, well, okay, never mind, he's going to fly away. The Broodmother can't really show himself with both Illidan and G still alive, I guess, so. One of the, I don't know, one of the problems with G as a player, honestly, is... Blink? Lil? Plays... Jesus. Sorry, go ahead. Plays way too scared. Like how, how how does this even happen? Like, like how how does how does um he was the one who? I mean no, was it him? No, it wasn't. It was actually, just the team. No, no. I, how did that's for live there? What's going on? Uh, it was the mass heals of the necrophos. Yeah, and like no one followed up. Yeah. Like he got chained up and then everyone didn't follow him. Only FNG FNG went and then everyone ran away. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. It was only FNG and G on the front lines. But but then again, I mean that's a lot to ask for. Yeah, well, for... no, I guess you do have the the blinks. No, it, it isn't because they don't have any spells. Like, Alliance have no spells. They can't cast spells. <laughs> like Alliance, Lushrak can cast spells. And no one else uh -huh. can have like they don't have like ravages or like epicenter. Yeah. They don't have those spells, like, so, if you go in on the left track and the left track can't fight back, then they don't have anything to back him up. Mm -hmm. They snowball him and save him with a snowball, but they're not gonna have any counter initiation. Right. And then they've got also the mobility items as well, the Darkseer and the Winter Wyvern both have, uh, blinks. Oh, S4 gets up the old scepter, but this just means round two for FNG. Never mind. Four staff. Oh, what a oh, back with that card! <laughs> On four heroes, the charge on through. What a setup, and that'll get to be just rolling through everyone now. As Loda is going to be the only hero who could escape, but they're committing they're pretty committing heavily pretty to him. They will they be able to be... chase him down all the way to the tier four's tower, so it's so nuts who survives nuts instead. instead of... But the combination, we're waiting for it all, all game, game long. long double, double blink daggers, Winter Wyvern, and DK Phobos on the Darkseer get the combination off to a beautiful outcome for BP.
Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's the format spike, too. <laughs> yeah. That looks real pretty when you have an Ember Spirit and then the charge to finish things up. Alright. I mean, uh, I'm casting this game really weird because I'm like, like harping on problems. Like, because uh, 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 if you look at this game realistically, I, the Alliance don't really have a method of winning. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. They, they can win some fights if VP play bad. Oh, trying to chase down. I don't think that, Are they getting caught oh. on their oh, way out? Yeah, looks, looks like, like DK Bobos, Bobos will. He put himself on the cliff out well. there. Yep, FNG is going to be the next hero, kind of gets caught. Uh, nuts, yeah, he'll be fine. Illidan's actually pops a BKB uh, to try and oh, commit to this one. Just... He draws a lot of attention, but now that BKB and the TP out is going to be canceled by the Reaper's Scythe, and they'll just right-click him down. That was an <laughs> awkward one. PL casts BKB. PL. PL, PL. <laughs> PL can't do shit. Like, like he, he's in deal okay because he's, uh, he's BKBs and he has Iron Shell on him. Mm -hmm. And he just runs in against the zero BKB on uh, Alliance. So he, he does do decent damage and he can stay on top of you because he has the spells to do so. But, uh, no Iron Shell. No, useless. Hey, he still has no farm. He's still below the 10k, below. but despite the fact that despite we're fact 30 that we're... minutes in, when you're usually hoping usually... that your carry is hitting 10k by 20 minutes, I mean, that's. Oh, he, he, has no, uh, he has no CS. Yeah. 82 but CS. But he has less CS than as, uh, he has the fourth low CS on his team. Yeah. You know you got issues when your support has more CS than you. I mean, that's from Winter Wyvern, though. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, I mean, that's from Spiders, so. Yeah. It's like 30 Spiders, or 40 Spiders, whatever. Um, yeah. Alright, so. I think Dark Star is gonna get 4 staff now, so that doesn't happen to him again. Draft fight, he was like, fuck this. Uh, is there more value in the offensive potential offensive? of two different Winter Curses? On Winter Wyvern or Lincoln's to deal with the Necrophos ultimate? Because um, he's got a Perseverance, got a perseverance right now. I think he should get. Uh, he should get. Because he's like one of the most important heroes on his team. And like whatever he does, like the enemy doesn't have any BKBs. So the, the new. The Winter Curse nerf doesn't do anything. Um, mm -hmm. And as long as he keeps them in control, like the Ember's gonna kill them. And Ember, like all these heroes, all have BKBs. Like they all decide to go BKB, so there's no reason to go Lincoln's run. Like they're they're gonna tank everything. Link, like they don't have any right click on Alliance. Four man smoke up from Alliance, looking for a pickup. They're gonna run pick right, they're gonna into run right into Lil. And they'll get a Reaper Scythe kill out of that, but that's that, just but uh, a 90 second death. I mean, I guess with the Reaper Scythe, those kind of pickoffs are a our... bit worse, but. Normally, you'd right, look at that. Alliance have their BKBs. They have two BKBs. That's for give on the Bloodstone idea. He's just... I, I like that. He's not gonna farm a Bloodstone anyway, so he's just gonna fight with a BKB. And charge on him. And Necrolite's not gonna be there, because he's really far away. Yeah. Blink in and vacuum. Oh, the vacuum um, and the wall right there. The snowball is out, and they're going to be able to bring S4 inside of that one. But are what? they going to be able to survive through this? It looks like the BKB is good enough. The Scythe Fist does a lot of damage. S4 is low. Illidan's trying to commit to it. They throw out their stun, but double BKB from BP is allowing them to be able to chase him down. The Slight Fist will finish him off even after they force staff out. Illidan's going to be caught, though. They don't have the Reaper Scythe, but they still manage to just battle him down. God has free reign away from this, though. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I side there, like, they, what the fuck, like, he got, he got Yules, and then he, and then Darkstar didn't blink in to cancel the Lushrak stun, mm -hmm. so FNG got stunned, and he couldn't get his ulti off until later, later, so S4 lived at 1 HP, and then he got mech and healed by Necrolite, like, if, people just, like, aren't so scared and play the game, like, they, like, people are not feeling it, feeling it, like, the picks are weird, and the game is weird, mm -hmm. and, like, the, like, no one really understands what's really happening in this game. I guess it's sort of understandable, but like that was one of the most obvious like uh, things to do in Dota. Like, if Lushrak's ulting, like you cancel his fucking stun, and then FNG will get his spells off. The winner of that and fight was G, him. though. He's got a Crystalis, at yeah. least. Yeah, it gets really weird, though. I don't really know what happens anymore because Necrolite leaking is 
really fucked up. Yeah, there's there's always that potential you lose potential one hero, but he's then down for like 100 seconds with no buyback. Uh, and this Brumutter is like, he's getting, like, he has the highest CS in the game now, like one of them, like one of the stray. So all of a sudden, he's just been farming. And he apparently plays this hero a lot, and, and his armor bulldog, so he just farms. He He's fucking farmed. He's useful. He has Vlad's, he has BKB. The Lions are gonna actually catch DK Bobos, and it's gonna be another Reaper Scythe kill. They throw it out, that's and yeah, they do. That's a, that might be a that might be a Roshan. That hero is way too important. What do VP do when it's a pickoff like that? You can't just let Alliance get Little controlled. Alliance. You just try and split push and avoid fights. Well, I don't think that pickoff should happen like that for free. Yeah. Yeah, oh, they're actually gonna there. try and get Admiral Bulldog yeah, here, yeah, yeah, throw yeah, all their yeah, ultimates out at him, and he's definitely dead. Now the question is whether or not VP are gonna get caught in the situation as oh S4 runs on forward, he gets off the gold seven there now, pops the, the BKB, pop throws out the stun, but there is double BKB heroes that are gonna be able to survive through this. The Cold Embrace doesn't really work out though. Illidan was unable to help finish off S4 and he Top managed to get himself away. The VP are getting away with their supports right now at very low HP. Very low HP. FNG is gonna be run down by the Tyrant Mage. Mage. Lil's gonna go down to the snowball from Nuts. And it looks like the cores are only gonna be able to punish Nuts as he is gonna be run down. Ice shards block. Oh, that's a good setup. Up. Slide of his chain, Slide though, we'll catch chain. him still. Do not stand against they see their opportunity. They get the pick off on the Broodmother oh, and then the, the following fight because there is no Reaper Scythe and oh, S4 and is still S4 just a bit too weak. Bit too weak. I mean, he draws so much, attention, so to much himself, attention to himself, but the physical damage physical of Illidan damage and G still, still threaten him incredibly quickly. Oh, shit, are they gonna get the Rex or the Range Rex? Oh, it depends. They don't have any. They don't have BKB, so they're a little scared right no. now. Because, like, one of yours into stun into a star faulty you can kill them. I'm just gonna play it safe. They're not gonna go for it. You gotta get defuse blade next on Illidan, right? I mean, it's it's two uh, intelligence cores. Intelligent. Isn't there a lot of value yeah, in defusal? That's all. I don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see. If he we'll does see. go defusal, he almost has it. I think uh, I think a basher is good. You want, yeah, you, you, you want I, to explain I, I, that I, I one for like me? Yeah, uh, I would like to see a bash. <laughs> <laughs> just abyssal them, like, you know, that'd be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just getting up as, uh, on Phantom Lights or as a hero? Like, you're just like, it's a Wraith King now, you, you just go in a pistol blade. So, is that what you're telling me? Uh, I mean, he, he can he can bash them up. Like, yeah. like it's gonna matter, because realistically, he's not gonna be the main damage hero of his team. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be the other heroes. Uh, you can slow him down a bit. I'm not sure though, I mean, Defusal's fine, like... Defusal's good. It just, Defusal's better than Basher, but I think Abyssal is better than Defusal. I mean, obviously one is like two times the gold, but I think the... Yeah. Having the Abyssal later on is gonna be sick. And I think the Basher's good enough. He, anyway, he went, he went, he went Defusal. Well, you've got Which a fresh good. BKB on the Necrophos, that's actually uh, not gonna be as good. Yeah. He has a refresher soon. Oh no, he went Lotus Orb. Wait, does that what? work on Necro ulti? How does it work? Yes, Necro ulti? Like, yes it does. Do, 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 if you cast it after your ulti, what happens? Um, it um, I, I believe it bounces back when the nuke lands, just like most missiles. I believe it still acts that way. Oh, and it'll still go back to Necrophos. My, my problem with Lotus Orb has always been the fact that when, when Necrophos throws it out, he's he's usually not in any not real danger. Deep. Unless you're initiating well, unless on you're him initiating and he's, he's responding with it, but in that case, he's in probably still going to be still, uh, still probably going to die. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really like this Lotus Orb. I like Refresher a lot more. Yeah. But, um... It, it's something to cancel the... Now every hero on our team has a way to cancel the silence. Bearbreaker. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good point. So, that's nice. I have two silences on Alliance, after all. Mm -hmm. And that's what's been that's getting what's Illidan been getting or G Illidan caught or most G of the time, caught. is... When their BKBs Illidan's are down. Illidan's going for the melee racks, because he wants to be in a better position. But he can get the range, but he like, just wants to be in a better position. Right, Norman. Alright, he's his illusions, illusions to go for the range tracks, but range because tracks, he didn't go for it before, they're actually going to go for the end of his charge on S4, they will be able to get the combination out with the back up over the top, Witcher's oh, Curse! No, we got Silence got still, silence. though! They managed to finish off at least the Lesh rank now, unless the Lions start backing themselves up, there is no buyback, Iron Bull Bulldog on the front lines with the Life Steal and the BKB, a great guy with range ultimate, but not enough to finish off FNG, and there's that Witcher's Curse on the three! Will wipe out one, two, three, but that Iron Bulldog still the only one that was alive, but he can't even get one kill! That's a buyback from one, but no one else from Alliance has it, and that's going to be two lanes of racks at the very minimum, or just a straight out GG Alliance straight will GG lose up. game number two, making this two game series a draw.
Привет. Интересный...